be here. I think so. Her uh, name is uh, Bradley. No, uh, Bradbury from Texas. Terry down to Texas. She sure covers a lot of territory. Hey, come going. Well, that's working a little too fast. Man named Bradbury from Texas. What's his number? Is he alone? Room 212. James Bradbury registered this morning alone. Has he got a parlor? No, just a bedroom. Give me that phone. Give me the head porter. Porter, this is Dugan, the house detective. Send a man to 212 in five minutes to take down some baggage. once or I'll break your neck. And this lady is my wife. <laughs> Take it easy, Texas. Take it easy. So she's your wife, eh? Well, well, well. I thought you'd say that. She is, I tell you. Oh, dry up. I saw her pick you up down in the lobby. Oh, you fool, you blockhead. <laughs> Come. These folks are checking out. Take this stuff. You can't get away with this. Keep your hand. Wait a minute, Gus. Where are your manners? This is a high-class hotel. Now get this, you two. I'm giving you a break. Just five minutes to pack. Going to hand me any more arguments? Yes, we're staying right here. Please, Jim. I wouldn't stay here for all the money in the world. It's really all too terrible. Thanks, lady. Okay, Tex. Oh, just a minute, Claire. Jim, please. Please. All right, dear. We'll go. Please get out. All right. I'm going. Now, let me give you a little tip. This ain't so terrible. It's happened to a lot of guys. You got into the wrong place at all. Get out of here. There are a lot of nice little hotels, ain't choosy. Ask any taxi driver. Ask her. There. 
there, there, dear. Don't let it worry you. To kill that clumsy fool. Don't do anything more about it. Let's just forget it and get out of here as quickly as we can. Why does it have to happen tonight? I'm so sorry, honey. But it's all over now. And tonight's just beginning. Let's forget. I can't quite promise that. Rhinelander, 19808. What are you going to do? I'm going to see that this remembers Mr. James Bradford until it falls apart. Oh, but Jim, I asked you to please uh, not... Please, darling. Come in. What is it, Walter? The man in 212 wants to see you, sir. Name's Bradbury. Certainly, show him right in. Glad to know you, sir. Good evening. This is Mrs. Bradbury. How do you do, Mrs. Bradbury? Won't you be seated? Uh, yes, indeed, Mr. Bradbury. I'm always glad of a chance to meet my guests personally. You're enjoying your stay with us, I hope. I am not. Why, Mr. Bradbury, what's the trouble? Ten minutes ago, I was ordered to leave my room by a ruffian who said that he was your house detective. Mr. Dugan? That's his name, Dugan. Why, I'm sure there must be some mistake. You bet there's a mistake. And the biggest mistake this hotel ever made. Come, can't be as bad as all that. Could you tell me just what happened tonight? Mrs. Sure Bradbury and I were married today. We came back to the hotel. Not ten minutes later, this Dugan forced his way into my room and using the vilest insinuations about Mrs. Bradbury, ordered us to leave the hotel. This is shocking, Mr. Bradbury, shocking. Bonner? I'm District Attorney of Boone County, Texas, and I know law. I can sue you for $100,000. A hotel like this wouldn't dare let the case go to trial. Of course you wouldn't do that. Of course I would, unless an apology is made to Mrs. Bradbury at once. Oh, by all means, Mrs. Bradbury. Uh, I, I, I trust that you understand, Madam, how, how dear I regret this unfortunate occurrence. Uh, personally, and for the hotel, I offer you my most sincere and humble apologies. Thanks. I know you mean it. Uh, just a minute, Claire, just a minute. Uh, that won't do. Not until that detective has gone down on his knees and begged her pardon. Why, of course, Mr. Bradbury, naturally. <clears throat> Send Dugan to my office at once. Uh, Dugan will gladly apologize, and of course I should do everything in my power to redeem this unfortunate obligation. Oh, Mr. Bradbury, I wonder if you would care to complete your honeymoon as our guest. The official bridal suite will be vacant tomorrow. No, thank you. Not after tonight. Oh, quite so, I... I see quite so, madam. Come in. for me. No good. For your stupid, bouncing conduct and breaking into room 212, I want you to apologize to Mrs. Bradbury unconditionally and at once. Wait a minute. You want me to apologize to her? Or what? Because you're a thick-headed fool. Mr. Bradbury has been good enough to regard your error in a favorable light. He is willing to accept an apology from you to Mrs. Bradbury in place of a suit for $100,000 in the favor of discharging you in his presence. Wait a minute. Now let me get this straight. Do can you do as I say? Take it easy, Mr. Bonner. This guy ain't gonna sue you for no hundred grand. Oh, I won't wait any longer. I'll file suit in the morning. No, no, wait, Mr. Bradford. I'll discharge this man. No, you won't. I'll keep my job and he'll keep his mouth shut about the whole affair. Please, Jim, let's go. I can't stand this. I'll say you can't, cutie. Why, you can't fire me. If he sues the hotel, I can save you a hundred grand. 
I'll go on the stand and tell just why I threw them out. Get out. I know what I'm doing. When I bounced this pair, I had a right. That dame picked up Clayton Savile down in the lobby like just before dinner. She spent the night in his apartments, and I can prove it. It's a dirty, filthy lie, and I'll jam it down your throat. Bradbury, please. You can hear it say. This is a serious charge. If you substantiate it at once, or I'll turn you over to the police. I can prove it by the bell, Captain. He saw her go up just after dinner. And I can prove it by Connor, the night watchman. He saw her go out right after daylight. Oh, you get out of here, polite. Excuse me, Mr. Bradbury. I'll attend to this outside. The swine. Claire. What is the meaning of all this? It hasn't any meaning. It's just a ghastly mistake. Well, then you weren't in the hotel last night. Why, I, I... Well, were you? Please, dear, believe me. There's nothing I shouldn't tell. I'll explain everything some other time. A wedding night. I'm sorry, dear. I got kind of mad, I guess. I knew you'd understand. Sure. 